these are high, like a very well-known designer brand. When, whenever they make something, it's almost perfect. Look at the stitching, you know, aftermarket makes it fake. Mm -hmm. It's like a, it's kind of like this. It's like dots. Yeah, and like little dots, and you see how it's not really even? And when you look at it carefully, you can see that, that you can, how Welcome back everyone to another episode. Let's get right into it. First and foremost, I want to thank everyone who subscribed to our channel for all the comments, for all the likes. We appreciate you guys. As always, do me a favor and say something nice in the comments. But in the meanwhile, we're still almost there. We got about 250 subscribers left to hit the 1000 mark. So let's get to it as soon as possible. Now, as for this next episode, two interactions that I want you guys to check out and I want your personal opinion and let me know in the comments section, was I being deceived or not? Now, the first one I had a feeling was something was not right about it. But the second one, I think in my opinion, genuinely, the guy probably didn't know what he actually ended up buying. And the only thing that kind of threw a suspicion in me was the fact that he removed the item from its original packaging. So that was a red flag. But in the meanwhile, I always like hearing your comments. Um, I've been getting a lot of messages through our Instagram site as well. So follow us there for short format content. But in the meanwhile, let's get right into it. Let me know what you think. I was being deceived or not. What's up? Hi. How are you? Good, and you? Good. I want to see what I can get for this. What are you trying to get for this? Um, I don't know. Give me an idea, more or less. Um, I need to pay my car note, so I'm just trying to get a couple hundred. 10 karat ring because I could see the stamp on it very very worn out. Is that gold or is that silver? I don't know. This feels heavy. Can you tell the difference? Well usually if there's a stamp on it it's a good indicator but obviously if we do end up doing anything I would always test it out you know. Yeah. This one does I mean it has some stamp on it but it's not a gold stamp. Do you take shoes? I got some Balenciagas. Mint? Used or new? Used, been uh, hardly used. This is no good. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll tell you this right off the bat. These are fake. Why? Just the way they're made. Quality, first of all. Look at this front. It's glued on. It's coming off. The four is lower than the five. Uh, yeah, if, if these were actual Balenciagas, then... I think they are. Nah. They have to be. Either why? Well, well, instead, well of, um, instead of US, it says Euro. And then at the bottom, it says Balenciagas. And then look at the bottom right here, too. Yeah, but just because it says it doesn't mean it is. Well, how can you authenticate it? Here, I'll tell you how real quick. These are high, like a very well-known designer brand. Yeah. Right? When Whenever they make something, it's almost perfect. Look at the stitching. That's what everybody says, dude. But yeah. like, that's. But that I have, is a, how I, ha it is. I have, a, I have a pair myself, and. But look at how Balenciaga here is. Look at, look at the letters. Look how uneven the edges are. Well, and they're shaker. used. Yeah, but like that used. And look at the bottom. Does that look like it should be like that? To that point, you've had other people tell you it's fake, right? No, I don't no. know. It is aftermarket. Well, aftermarket makes it fake. <laughs> so how much would you... How much do you need? You're going to be borrowing. A thousand. Let me check, okay? Alright. Yeah. When you bought this, did it come in its capsule? It, it did. And I yeah. have it at home. You removed it? Yeah. The, the capsule was... It was kind of tore up. It was. Uh... I'm gonna set yours right here. I'm gonna go bring one that I have real quick. Okay, okay mine's in a capsule. 
put this here for you in front of you so I can go bring mine, okay? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. So you have that the capsule at home? Uh-huh. Look, I'm just uh, whenever it comes to gold, yeah. You just gotta be a little cautious and you know what I don't like about it? What? Okay, so this is this is how it works, okay? These are these are standard in the market. See? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, see that blue that blue capsule? That's the kind of correct. Thing. Correct. Just like that one. So what happens is these have to measure a certain that's the dimensions. Uh huh. Okay, on all Palm Swiss bars. Now you see the you see the thickness? Yeah. So it's supposed to measure point one point six six. Forty one is the length, and that's forty one. Yeah. You got the width, 24. Now, this here should be 1.66. Yours is 1.95. Oh. On a small dimension like that, yeah. that's a big difference. So it's 0.30 off. Oh. When I'm looking at mine, mine is a lot narrower than that. You know, and this, this I bought from Palm Swiss, so. And then the last thing, let me just show you this here. Look at the look at the engraving on yours. You talking about the bottom? Yeah, part? you see where it says A63. You see how it's been done? Move your arm to uh, to focus. You see the A603 and all that? Yeah, the serial number. You see how it's done? Uh -huh. It's like a it's kind of like this in dots. Yeah, in like little dots and you see how it's not really even? It's kind of like off. Yeah. That's another thing I'm not a big fan of. Is that not like that on that one? This one's, it's, it's dot, but look how perfectly it's done. Huh. How long ago did you buy this? Oh, it's been three, four years ago. Oh, so you're not sure on this one you're saying. I don't like the measurements on it. And when you look at it carefully, you can see that the, how thin this one is compared to how thick this one is. The reason why this weighs 31.15 grams is because they have to make it a little bit thicker to put other alloys inside because nothing is gonna uh, weigh the same as gold. This is probably not 24 karat gold. I've never had anybody look at it before, so. Oh, perfect, hold on, hold on. Hold on. To the untrained eye. I forgot to tell you this. Now. Oh. Okay, that one's pretty thick. This here is fake, believe it or not. Look how it's done. Look at, look at, I mean, look at the work. Look it at the work good. that's been done. How well is it made, huh? Yeah, it looks, looks real. Here, let me show you another thing. Here's... That's what's going around in town right now. What is it? Gold. Just, just called jewelry? Fake. People have been buying that on the streets and gas stations and oh. overpasses and uh, freeway entrances. Well, I would never buy anything there. Exactly. I go to you would have. But... but how many people have? Just look. If you have a chance, I'll, I'll inspect the cover for that one too if you want to bring it I'll, in i'll bring the cover yeah if you're in the neighborhood today tomorrow yeah. i'm open uh, till uh, nine okay all right thanks you're welcome you have a good one so once again was i being deceived or not want to hear from you guys now as for those balenciaga shoes i did confirm that they were counterfeit i actually had a colleague of mine call me and I guess those shoes were going around, especially in the valley. So that was for sure confirmed uh, counterfeit. As for the gold bar, the guy called me and told me that he couldn't find the packaging. However, I was able to get my hands on a counterfeit. And this is the exact same one that he actually brought in. And if you look carefully, I want to actually, if you check in our YouTube channel, I do have a video about this. It might actually be on our Instagram, but if it's not, I will upload this to our YouTube channel because beware, a lot of these fakes are going around and this one is super well done. Look at that, still has the serial number on the backside. Everything looks exactly as the original until you look at the very small details so all in all, hope you guys enjoyed it. In the meanwhile, subscribe to our channel. I have a lot more content coming your way.